Merging is another lens. Lens 5 is merging. is where you bring things closer together or merge parallel operations. Um, I won't go through all these examples for time, uh, but these are all the ones that we cover in the workshop. But like circuit boards are much more efficient and have merged all kinds of operations onto one chip. Uh, radio telescope array is another example. Uh, one of the things that really delays cross-country air travel is the current required distance between each plane on cross-country travel. So somebody asks, why don't we just fly like birds, where one guy is in charge and the other nine follow him until you get within 100 miles or so of your destination. That would be kind of merging, right? You're merging these cross-country travel. And well, actually, you'll see that in your lifetime, hopefully, that we start running those operations that way. How about the Yum brands? Yum owns Taco Bell, Long John Silver's, KFC. They're all under one roof now in many locations, right? So by merging all these stores together under one roof, how have they become more efficient? You get to use the same silverware, right? Same bathrooms, the same cooking crew, same soda fountains, right? So they've, they've got this big advantage from merging things together. This is a friend of mine. Um, again, I said before, he's a very, very creative guy, Dave Campbell. And uh, he had never heard of trees until I taught it to him. But he's one of those guys that always kind of used lenses. He just never called them those lenses. Um, when he worked at GE, he's like, he used to drive around like a golf cart that carried parts to all these different manufacturing stations. And he goes, so I'm driving around all day, Mark. And so I can merge that, and I, you know how I like to talk, so I'm talking to everyone. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, where everyone gambles um, because of the race horses, right? And every year at church, I'm in charge of the auction because we auction off a car every year. So I know how auctions work and the tickets and that kind of stuff. So he merged all those things together, and he started to raffle off his paycheck. So he drove around all day and sold raffle tickets for a dollar to raffle off his paycheck. And then whoever won, he'd go down to the cafeteria and he'd count the cash out as loud as he could so everyone could hear it. He doubled his paycheck for two and a half years doing this. Right? So he merged together the available resources that already existed, and they don't have to be your resources. Look around you and figure out what are the available resources you can do to merge together to do something smarter and make more money. How many people have been to the Sydney Bay Bridge Climb? It's the biggest attraction in Sydney, Australia. This guy went to the local authorities. He doesn't own the bridge, right? He doesn't own the Sydney Bay Bridge. He went to local authorities and said, I want to build this um, attraction where people can climb the bridge. It's more of a walk, OK? You kind of go up the arch thing, you start over here and walk up. And he's selling a view, OK? He doesn't own the bridge. He went and presented this, and they gave him like 60 reasons why he couldn't do it. And he came back a year and a half later with 60 solutions. And they go, hmm. OK? So he had to put in $6 million investment in safety harnesses and cables and those type of things. This data is old, so this data is probably three or four years old. But $6 million investment, it cost $200 to go up, and 2 million people did it four years ago. So that was the math. $600 million revenue off a $6 million investment. And he doesn't own it, <laughs> right? Go back to the CN Tower. Whoever sells hot dogs at the bottom of that thing is making a fortune. They don't own the CN Tower. What other available resources do you have that you could go partner with that you don't own? And you come up with a revenue share that works for everybody.